Beginning in mountain pose, inhale, reach up to the sky. Take a look up and find a side stretch. Whichever side is calling your way first. Bend to the other side next. Keep your breath. Finding your sun salutations. Hook your hands behind your back as you exhale, forward fold. Release your hands and find an inhale. Find a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, walk your hands all the way out, straight out, plank pose, knees down, then chest, and we'll come into a cobra pose. So legs connected to the earth, shoulders away from the face, roll to the knees first, sink it back, child's pose. Just take a moment, maybe shift side to side with the hips. Breathe in and breathe out. Downward facing dog is where we're going. When you're there, just notice how you feel. Pedal out your heels, bend one knee, then the other. And then walk your feet up to your hands. Find a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching all the way up to the tall mountain, up to the sky. Looking up, find a side twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, lifting up opposite side right will go forward left will go back breathe in reaching up exhale clasp those hands behind the back open the chest the heart forward fold let it go so this time wave your right arm to the sky bend deeply with one leg and find a switch looking up reverse it when you're ready bending that right leg lifting the left and then find your halfway lift on your inhale. Exhale, just noticing each time how you feel, walking your feet back, you're in a high plank position. Chaturanga, Dandasana, or knees, chest and chin, we're going into an upward facing dog this time. So legs are not attached to the earth, they're off of the mat. Downward dog is where we'll meet up. Breathe. Being upside down, so good. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, raising all the way to the top. And then letting it go. Arms to your side, breath of joy. So here we go. Inhale, reaching forward. Inhale, big hug. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, squat. Inhale, forward. Big hug. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, down. Inhale, forward. Inhale, out to the side. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, down. Continuing that or just finding a little swing from side to side. We're moving into our warm-up. And we'll add... A little intensity cardio intensity and build on some yoga holds as well so just let your arms swing rotate your hips rotate your feet and then come to your mountain pose taking in your breath and out your breath just noticing that ujjayi breath that nasal breath so it should be through your nose keep your mouth together and just try to find the deep inhales and exhales through your nose so opposite knee, opposite arm will lift up. So I call these standing mountain climbers. Just right here, nice and easy. And as you're ready, let's find a side to side lunge. Just shifting back and forth, just warming up the body, awakening, bringing in the energy. And coming back. All right, here we are. High knees, opposite lifts, adding in that cardio, hop, 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 keep going, high knees, jumping jacks, breathe, we've got it, a couple more, keep it going, I think I have about 20 of the cardio moves, 20 repetitions. Alright, next move is... Pretend there's junk food, throw it out, pop your knee up, pop your knee, pop your knee, pop. Both arms up to the sky, opposite side, pop. Pop the knee up, pop the knee up, pop the knee. Keep it going. 
Find a hop. Hop on that ball of the foot. Switch sides. Lifting those arms. Popping the knee up. Breathe. It's a short workout, so make it count. Find that balance. Good for the balance. Good at the hopping. You don't have to have shoes on. I don't. Breathe in and breathe out. Jumping jacks. Here we go. 20 of them again. Go as fast or slow as you'd like. What you're comfortable with. Push yourself if you can. It's not a long workout. Keep it going. Standing mountain climbers. Adding that hop. back to the ground all right plank jacks so legs go out and in out and in keep going I know almost there put your knees down finish the plank jacks Take a moment to rest. Take your breath. Inhale and out. Exhale. Cat cows. We'll stretch it out for our cool down. One minute. Inhales. We'll look up to the sky. Exhale. You'll be like the hissing cat around your spine. Inhale. Look up. Shifting any hips that you would like to move. Bending your elbows. Just loosening the joints. Inhale. Looking up. Oh sticking your right leg straight out behind you left arm also extended bird dog right here hold it find that balance and then crunch three times knee and elbow reaching extending and then shift your hips side to side find the opposite lift so left leg right arm hold it breathe connect knee and elbow three times Inhale and exhale. Arm comes down, knees come down. Coming up to your knees, just find a side bend. Side to side. Staying on those knees. Roll your shoulders back, legs back out. Mountain climbers, yes, mountain climbers in that plank position. Keep it going. Getting that heart rate up. All right, these are jack, push up. Jack the legs out, push up. Jack the legs out, push up. Come to your knees as you need to. Find that strength. You've got it. A couple more. You're almost done. Mountain climbers. Pump those legs a little faster. Maybe you can lift them a little bit higher towards your armpits. Breathing in and breathing out. Downward facing dog, take a rest. Down dog, moving through plank and a push up. Coming to your knees if that's more comfortable. Down dog, push up. Just build in a few extra push ups in between. And then rise up to the top. Here we are, jumping jacks. Now we're going to do Superman jacks, so we're flying in the air. High knees, high knees. Running in place. And then just swing the arms right and left. Just like the ragdoll swing, breath of joy again. Inhale, reach forward, inhale, big hug, inhale, up to the sky, exhale down. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale down. Inhale, 
Inhale wide. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale down. Keep it going. Your own pace. And finishing up. Swing it again. And we will come into our last sequence. So, speed skater. Skate with me. Shift that leg back. Arm goes out in front. Go as fast and as wide as you can get your legs. As wide as the yoga mat. Just keep moving. Keep pumping it. Hop side to side with a little squat in between, moving your arms. Hop. Big hop from one side to the other. One side to the other. Almost there. Keep it going. We're going to speed skate again. Here we go, speed skater, speed skate, speed skate. Shift that leg back behind you, reaching forward. Keep going, almost there to the end for a little yoga flow we'll find as we finish our last burst of cardio. You've got this. All right, hop side to side. Come on, pump it out. Keep going, shift side to side. Yes, you can. It's only like a 14 minute workout. That's the best part about the cleanse, super short workouts. I'm not sure about the green tonic and I've had enough beets for the rest of my life. We can do this. All right, bring that heart rate down, swing the arms out. Take what you need. Sip of water, only if it's hot water. Reach your arms up to the sky. Just find that side bend. It's really good for you to keep reaching up to the side and stretching that side every day. Helps with the motions. And then roll the arms back, open the heart. And let's find a little yoga flow. So we're gonna take our right leg and we'll take a big step, lunging step forward. And we're going to come into warrior two. So make sure that heel and arch is in alignment. Widen that stance. Extend those arms straight out. Try to have one long line between the right fingertip to the left fingertips. And just stay here. We're here for like seven breaths. So close your eyes. Find that ujjayi breath, so you inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Taking that big breath in and out. After you've got your seven, we're gonna go to a side angle pose. So right arm comes down towards the leg and left arm is extended up and you find your breath again for seven inhales and exhale. Goddess squat is our next pose. Tuck your pelvic floor under. Cactus your arms out to the side. And just be here. Feeling the core engagement, the quads. You're strong. Finding that strength. Close your eyes. Maybe even come to your tippy toes. Breathe. And then release, and we'll find the left side for warrior two. Extend the arms straight out, widen that stance. Notice your heel and arch alignment, and then you are breathing. Closing your eyes and find those seven breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Side angles, our next pose. Look up to the sky or down towards the floor. Really reaching the heart up towards the sky. Breathing. Seven breaths. 
And then bring your feet together. We're going to come to a chair pose. Weights in the heels. Sink your boot, your bottom down. Extend those arms. Close those eyes. Maybe even lift the toes up off the ground. Warrior three. Lift the right leg. Extend the arms. Find your focus and then take those breaths. Always a nice thing to do a balanced posture every day. Coming to the second side, so we'll extend our left leg this time. Extend those arms, maybe lift a little higher. Warrior three. Your body's trying to be parallel to the mat. I should lift my arms up and have my arms in between my ears a bit more. And then you're in mountain pose. Inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to the prayer position, bowing down. Namaste.